वर्णिवेशरमणीयदर्शन मंदहासुचिराननाबुज पूजित सुरनरोतमेर्मुदा धर्मनंदनमह विचित धर्मनंदनमह विचित श्री घनश्याम महाराज नी जय ऑल माइटी सुप्रीम लॉर्ड अवर बिलउड घनश्याम महाराज अवर पूज्य पाद गुरु जी ऑल ऑफ यू इट इज जय स्वामी नारायण from last many sundays we are talking about various miracle happen in the life of devotees as well as santo and even also in present devotees and santo we are discussing on basis of bhakta chintamani's some of the chapters which contains these incidents which includes miracles happen in lives of devotees bhagwan swami narayan has so many not only in the form of santo not only in the form of some householder male devotees but bhagwan swami narayan he had also great female devotees and sadguru sri nishkudan and swami describes about not only santo about not only the glory of household devotees who are males but sadguru nishkudan and swami in the bhakta chintamani also glorify and describe the greatness and glory of bhagwan swami narayan's female devotees in our daily sunday katha we have till today discuss about miracle happen in life of santo like akhandanand swami muktanand swami kaivalyanand swami vyapkanand swami sant das ji swami etc also we have discuss miracles happen in the life of some devotees like parvat bai and mulji luana now today in chapter 132 of bhakta chintamani sadguru sri nishkuran swami describes the glory and greatness of duty of bhagwan swami narayan as well as some miracle happen in their life sadguru nishkuran swami describes specially for female devotees now when we are talking about female devotees of bhagwan swami narayan then automatically jeuba and laduba these two names come first in our mind for female devotees they are the most senior and great devotees of bhagwan swami narayan at that time but here in bhakta chintamani sadguru nishkuran and swami he wrote about many incidents describing the glory of these female devotees but amongst them in chapter 132 nishkudan swami writes about miracle happen in life of jeuba rajba as well as some other female devotees so first of all who is jeuba jeuba was just simply if we want to discuss about her background then jeuba she was a great duty of bhagwan swami narayan but as a social relation he was a daughter she was daughter of ibal khachar and elder sister of dada khachar jeuba lived in gadpur but initially when she was not made bhagwan swami narayan she was not a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan but still he had uh, she had desire in his in her heart 
to meet God face to face. And that's why she always performs worship to Bhagwan. She always engages herself in reading scriptures and listening scriptures. But when she encounter Bhagwan Swaminarayan's greatness in her life, then after his her life is totally changed. So, Jeevabai was a great duty of Bhagwan Swaminarayan, and there are so many miracles happen in her life. But here, Nishkura and Swami wrote about one of his famous incidents. When Jeevabha was very little age, at the time she worshipped Bhagwan Swaminarayan, and she was too much engaged in worship and remembrance and chanting Bhagwan Swaminarayan's name and all these religious things. So definitely she could not want to marry. She had no any worldly desire. But just as today any dude, uh, any boy or girls, if they want to worship Bhagwan and they refuse to engage themselves in worldly things, then definitely their parents, the par their parents, they never like these things. They always want to engage their sons and uh, their sons and daughters in worldly activities. And same way, Abul Khajar, father of Jubai, he also did not like that his children, all, all of his children, Dada Khachar, Jiuba, Laduba, they all worship Bhagwan Swaminarayan and they never like to engage themselves in worldly things, worldly relations, worldly enjoyments. And that's why Abul Khachar did not like this. Once upon a day, Abul Khachar decided not to bear these things many times. He had decided in his mind either I could stop this worship and all these things in my house, otherwise I'll cut all of my children into pieces. By thinking and deciding this evil culture with sword in his, ha uh, in his hand, he came to one of the room in which Jiuba and Laruba worship Bhagwan. Laruba kept a small idol of Bhagwan and believed that is not idol but Bhagwan himself and worship and talking with him and chanting his name and all these things. But Abul Khachar did not like this. And for that, Sadguru Niskuran Swami wrote in Bhakta Chintamni Danya Jeevu Bai Hari Jana Ruda Raj Bai Che Pavana Madhya Jedi Na Jeevan Prana Swami Sahajananda Sukha Khan Te Dinatan Sukha Netaji Bhaveli Da Bhagavan Bhaji Hari Bhajata Maje Jehavu Te Nivata Vigate Varnavu Niskuran Swami described that incident. What happened while worshipping Bhagwan Swaminarayan in the form of small idol? What ha happened in life of Jiva? Niskuran Swami explained. Abul Khachar entered into the room in which Jiva worshipped Bhagwan. Now Abul Khachar had sword in his hand, and he had decided to stop this worship and all these things and that's why with anger he instructed his elder 
daughter juba stop this this is not your duty this is not your age to worship when you will become older you should worship at the time bhagwan but in childhood you have many many you should have many many friends and you should play with them this is your activity as a child but this is not your activity to worship bhagwan in childhood then jeev bhai replied his uh, her father abul khajar it is not necessary to worship god only in old age because the death is not certain the uncertain death is sure but time of death is not sure and even today we listen and even we see and observe many many incidents that even a child or a young person can die in accidents and in some unknown disease and in many other ways so it is not sure that everybody can get an opportunity to worship god in old age because if one die before old age then how can he worship god and that's why every time chant bhagwan's holy name that is the only way to worship and remember and chanting his name and juba she understood this reality of this world that nobody can live long life and that's why she worship bhagwan by his childhood then abel khajar he said if this is god then show me any miracle or give me any evidence so that i can believe that this is not a small idol but this is god himself jubai was staunch devotee of bhagwan he had no belief that this is idol she believed that this is bhagwan himself and believing bhagwan himself she always worship him offer him food water milk some flowers fruits etc she also chanting his name and in many times she also used to talk with bhagwan in the form of idol now jubai replied this is god himself and it is not sure that bhagwan gave you any miracle or bhagwan give you any evidence that this is the god himself but as jubai was staunch devotee of bhagwan swaminarayan and bhagwan swaminarayan also wants to make a devotee of her father abel khajar and that's why bhagwan swaminarayan decided to give an evidence of his manifestation and his supremacy and that's why jubai offered bhagwan in the form of small idol a bowl full of milk with a pure heart with pure affection and love jubai offer bowl of milk to small idol of bhagwan and small idol of bhagwan bhagwan took a bowl in his own hand and he bhagwan drank all of the milk and when bowl was empty bhagwan threw it near the feet of apple catcher apple catcher became surprised that how this can be help uh, this can be happen he could not even understand he could not even believe that what he had seen but as after miracle everybody can believe in bhagwan and same way apple catcher believe that this is god himself and all of my children what they did meaning what uh what the manner they 
worship Bhagwan, the chanting Bhagwan's name, all these things. That's good. I am wrong. And then, then after a Balkhajar, a father asked for forgiveness to her si uh, to his sister uh, to his daughter. A Balkhajar asked for forgiveness from Jubai and he fell down into the feet of Bhagwan in the form of small idol. In this way, Bhagwan Swaminarayan gave a miracle to Jubai because of his pure and unconditioned devotion towards Bhagwan. Same incident happened in our uh, in life of our Puja Guruji. When we consider his childhood, in his childhood he always used to play with other boys, but he gathered all of the boys of the village and he used to play such a game that includes temples, idols, worship, performing arti, celebrating festivals. This is all his game. He has no interest in any worldly games and enjoyments and sport. When in school, even in age of five, or five to six years, our Puja Guruji, when he was in school, in school, when other boys they explain and narrate other stories in the class, our Puja Guruji, he was describing glory and greatness of Bhagwan Swaminarayan even at the age of five to six years. Even in school, he did not like to play with other games or sports. At that time, even as a small children, uh, even as a small child, our Puja Guruji, he always engaged himself to explain glory and greatness and narrating Bhagwan Swaminarayan's divine charitra to other boys, uh, even some some of elders. Now then, after. When our Puja Guruji became a saint and after, uh, after completing the foundation and uh, starting uh, beginning ceremony of our Sri Swaminar and Gurukul Kandari, once upon a time Guruji was on religious travel in various countries and once he went to African countries. There are many or Gujaratis and many other devotees live there. There are big mandirs over there and one of that mandir in Nairobi about two two thousand devotees gathered in the mandir and at the time in India the people talk about that idol of Ganpati drinks milk that is what the situation in India at the time and that's why all of the devotees also ask whether it is true or wrong to Guruji as Guruji was uh, Guruji was main speaker in Mandir of Nairobi at the time so all of the devotees ask about true or false uh, about this incident that uh, Ganpati can drink milk Guruji said, I don't know about what, what is true or false, but I only know that this is my Bhagwan. Guruji had his own Hare Krishna Maharaj in, Saul, uh, in small idol, which he kept everywhere with him. Now Guruji said, I, don't, uh, I do not know about trueness or falseness about Ganpati can drink milk, but I definitely know that this is my Hare Krishna Maharaj. This is a form of Bhagwan Swaminarayan. He definitely can drink milk. Then devotee bring a bowl of milk, milk uh, about half a gallon, 
Then Guruji offered it to Bhagwan with his own hand, with a spoon. Then Thakurji, Hari Krishna Maharaj, drinks milk. This incident happened in the presence of 2,000 devotees in Mandir. Then all of the devotees, one by one, they also have a darshan for, uh, from very near that with Guruji's hand, Bhagwan himself drinks milk. After that, literally devotees wants to wait Bhagwan, and on weight scale, Bhagwan's weight is increased according to the milk's weight. This is what a miracle happened in the life of Bhagwan Swaminarayan's true devotee. As Guruji has true and unconditioned love and affection and devotion for Bhagwan Swaminarayan, Bhagwan Swaminarayan himself accepts his devotion. And that's why if we cultivate the same affection for God in our heart, Bhagwan Bhagwan is ready. He also accepts our devotion. But for that, we have to be pure. We have to cleanse out our heart. We have to remove all kinds of bad thoughts, bad nature, bad habits from our life. Then after, with a pure Love, when we offer anything to God, God is always ready to accept those things. In this way, in the life of Jiva, as well as we have described about what had happened in our Puja Guruji's life. Now, then after, Nishkuran and Swami wrote about another incident happened in the life of in the life of Rajbai of Vakya. Rajbai was uh, one of a staunch devotee of Bhagwan Swaminarayan at that time. She lived in Vakya. Vakya was a small village. Rajbai from very uh, from his early childhood, she came in contact of Bhagwan Swaminarayan and as other devotees she also used to worship Bhagwan Swami Narayan. Now, she did not want to marry. And as what had happened in, in life of Jubai, Rajbai's parents, they also did not want to, they did not want that Rajbai could not marry and only worship Bhagwan. That's why they deny. They deny her to worship Bhagwan. And when Rajbai did not accept their proposal, all of their all of her relatives and parents they went to Maharaj in Gadda. Rajbai also with her parents and relatives and her relatives and parents they request Maharaj. Maharaj or Rajbai, she had a small age and now she become young and we want to marry, we want to engage her marriage and she deny to marry. So now if you command her and she definitely follow your commands, so please order her to live with us and marry. Now Bhagwan Swaminarayan Bhagwan Swaminarayan said to Rajbai, Rajbai, as your relatives and parents said to live in your house, so please this is my order to you. Worship Bhagwan after engaging in society, after engaging in marriage ceremony. 
Now Rajbai decided that I have to follow Bhagwan Swaminarayan's command. No doubt Bhagwan Swaminarayan said him, Bhagwan will always help his pure devotees. Bhagwan is always in a security of his devotees. Now Rajbai according to Bhagwan Swaminarayan's command she went back to her village with her relatives and parents after marriage when she went to her husband's house there at first night one miracle happened in life of rajbai she did not want to marry and she did not want to engage in, in this worldly relation and worldly activities and she has no any worldly desire she only wants to worship bhagwan swami narayan throughout his life uh, throughout her life and for that he she want to renounce all this wor- uh, worldly relation and everything but bhagwan swami narayan's command for her and that's why she was in her husband's house now in first night when her husband came into her room at the time rajbai was chanting bhagwan swami narayan's name on beads on mara on the bed now when her husband entered into the room and when he saw when he want to saw rajbai's face then all of a sudden he became very very horrible because rajbai's husband could not see the rajbai but instead of rajbai he could see one of lion there on the bed and that's why with trembling and with a sweat on his face and on of uh, all of his body she immediately closed the doors of the room and came out from the room and he went to his parents and relatives and uh, narrated of what had happened in the room that he could not uh, found any lady there instead of rajbai he uh, he could have a darshan of lion on bed and when he narrated all of this incident to his relatives and parents and after that rajbai's husband request uh, requested his family members and relatives send back this lady she was not an ordinary woman she was a great duty of bhagwan and that's why we should we should let her do what she want and that's why according to her husband's request all of the relatives they decided went back to uh, vankia with rajbai and sent uh, rajbai to vankia for worshiping bhagwan but when they asked rajbai rajbai said i did not want to go back to my home i have no i i did not want to keep any relation with my relatives and family members but i only want to worship bhagwan swami narayan and that's why i want to go in gadda where bhagwan swami narayan lived with many many santo and devotees now after coming in gadda rajbai lived forever in gadda and worship bhagwan swami narayan throughout his life and bhagwan swami narayan when he listen about this incident bhagwan swami narayan he order he commanded to dada khacher that this is your another sister and that's why you should you should have one another room 
for her. That's why Dada Khachar provided Rajbai another room, special room for living, and Rajbai lived there happily and worshipped throughout her life. Bhagwan Swami Narayan. This is what happened. A miracle happened, and she was saved for worshipping Bhagwan by Bhagwan himself. This is the miracle. and e- this incident teaches that if we want if we really want to worship bhagwan swami narayan and we have no any worldly desire in our heart then bhagwan himself say over bhagwan himself protect our devotion now then after another third incident explain sadguru nishkaran swami in the same chapter and in that incident B- once upon a time bhagwan swami narayan was stay in karyani for some days karyani was not too much far from garuda but in garuda some female devotees especially child devotees uh the name of those devotees Panchuba, Nanuba, and Ramuba. These three female devotees, they are not too much elder. They are uh, five to six years old girls, and they decided to go Karyani and enjoy Bhagwan Swami Narayan's darshan. This is what they are. thought even at the age of 5 to 6 years we have also many many kids in our loya dham mandir they have also always wished to worship bhagwan have a darshan of bhagwan not to engage any other worldly things this is only happened because of our guruji's divine power our guruji's divine saintliness otherwise this cannot be happen in this incident these three girls they want to have darshan of bhagwan swami narayan and that's why without knowing even the way to karyani they leave gadra and they eagerly want to have darshan of bhagwan and that's why they walked out from the village but now in the way they did not know the road they did not know the way to karyani and that's why they forgot the way now as they were very small age and definitely children who forgot the way and they alone definitely they have fear in their mind the same thing happened in these three child devotees in the way when they become very fear in their heart bhagwan swami narayan took a form of brahmin a brahmin some some of uh, some bottles of water some food he came behind those child devotees these three girls they want to reach karyani as soon as possible and they did not know the way now bhagwan swami narayan took a form of brahmin and he followed these three devotees bhagwan swami narayan caught these three devotees and he said to them from where you are coming and where you want to go those devotees explain to bhagwan they did not know this is bhagwan swami narayan himself but they only know that this is a brahmin Bra- uh, bhagwan swami narayan in the form of brahmin he asked those child devotees their name and everything then after brahmin bhagwan swami narayan in the form of brahmin he said to those devotees that i also 
go to karyani and that's why if if you want to come with me i'll show you the way and that's why please follow me but after some time all of these three girls they ask some water and food if he if the brahmin had brahmin said oh yes i have some sweet balls and i have some water bhagwan swaminarayan in the form of brahmin he offer these child devotees some sweet balls and water to drink then after when they walked in the way the wa- the path is not smooth the path was uh, the path of uh in between a jungle and that's why the thorn and some pebbles on even lands everything this happened but one swam in himself pick out or uh, some thorns from ch- uh, from those child's legs and again he offered them food and water and in this way when bhagwan swaminarayan in the form of brahmin they reach along with these three devotees in outskirts of karyani then bhagwan swaminarayan said this is karyani village and bhagwan swaminarayan also stay here in the village so please go in the village and have darshan of bhagwan swaminarayan in this way when those devotees went into the village bhagwan swaminarayan disappeared as a brahmin and when this three child devotees meaning these three girls meet bhagwan swaminarayan in karyani then bhagwan swaminarayan ask those devotees have you reached here in karyani from gadara you have a very small age and without any companion how you find out the way to karyani all these ask bhagwan himself to those devotees then there all of these all of those three girls they explain what had happened in the way they said a brahmin was there in the way and he had offered us food and water and he had guided us the way even to the outskirts of this village then bhagwan swami ran smiling with smiling bhagwan swami ran said uh the brahmin is not uh anybody but i am uh, my uh, the brahmin is no brahmin was not anybody but i myself took a form of brahmin and uh show you the way then as nobody can believe this and that's why bhagwan swami narayan explained those devotees and in the assembly what had happened in the way and give some sign and some other uh some other incidents uh some other things so that uh, everybody can believe that this is a true that not a brahmin but bhagwan swami himself protect and uh show the way to karyani to this devotees in this way sadguru niskula and swami rat uh divine miracles happen in the life of female devotees of bhagwan swami narayan and we have also discussed some miracles happen in the life of our puja guru ji now in this way sadguru niskula and swami conclude this chapter of miracles describing the miracles uh, 132 chapter of bhakta chintamani by saying this jai swami narayan श्री गणश्याम महाराज नी जय 